Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to see about how to analyze the Autodoc result PDBQT file. So, first to open the PyMole. This is the PyMole interface. PyMole has powerful and very flexible interface, but it is complex for new users. This video briefly introduces the PyMole interface and shows how to analyze the Autodoc result that is saved in the PDBQT file. So let's start with the PyMole interface. PyMole can display more than one object at a time. First open the Autodoc result PDBQT file. This is the PDBQT file of the Autodoc result. Next to each object, there are different buttons. They are action, showing, hiding, labeling and coloring. In the action button, you can rename the object and duplicate the object, remove and apply different presets. In the show button, this one shows different representations and the hide button hides the different representations the label button labels the atoms residues molecules etc and color button has the different coloring options for the different representations Next, let's analyze the Autodoc result. First, I'm going to remove the external GUI to get the better view. And I also remove the sequence. This file is a protein ligand complex file, which contain protein along with the docked pose of the ligand. This is the ligand and this is the protein part to analyze the interactions go to action button next to the corresponding object name and select preset and then select ligands now it shows the possible interactions between the ligand and the residues now we have three interactions one is this one this and this one now select the residues that are interacting now you will get the selection object next to the selection object click on show and click liquorize to get the ball and stick model now the residues got the ball and stick model next to the same selection select the label option and click on residues to label the residue names now the residue names are labeled this is the phenylalanine you can adjust the clipping okay then go to wizard and measurement to get the distances between the interactions Select the pair of atoms which are interacting to get the distance. After the measurement is over, click on done in the measurement panel. Now we have labeled the amino acids and measured the distance between the atoms. As you go along, you will find different objects in the object control panel. So these are the measurement object and the interaction objects. To save the view, go to the draw or ray button and ray trace to get the very good quality image and save the image to a file.
you can also use the different presets that are already provided along with the pi mode so go to the action button next to the protein ligand complex file and select preset and you can use the different presets that are provided here you can use this publication preset if you don't want the measurements you can unselect the measurement and you get the view like this and you can clip the image however you want this is the publication preset and next one is the pretty and next preset is ligand sites and cartoon so you get this is the ligand sites and cartoon and you have different presets like solid surface transparent surface you can click on action and orient to get the whole view of the protein ligand complex if you want you can give the series of commands after loading the autodoc result pdb qt file first extract the ligand by this command extract ligand comma organic now a new object is created with the name of ligand see and give this command show surface comma result this command shows the surface for this object result and you want to hide the surface for the ligand to do this give this command hide surface comma organic now the surface for the ligand is hidden next to change the color scheme give this command util dot chain bow result result is the object name that we are working on so the color is applied and finally right click and select orient and you can retrace the image and save it to the file this is also one of the method if you want you can hide the surface for the result hide surface comma result and if you want to show the protein as ribbons go to show and show as cartoon that's all thank you for watching if you find this video useful please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching